welcome back to episode four of how to build a smart home with HomeKit. My name is Demetrius and today we're going to be talking about smart plugs. Okay, where do we begin with the plugs? This is probably going to be the cheapest device you could probably buy and convert pretty much anything obviously has an outlet. Smart. These are really handy. I think these are around 20 bucks on Amazon. Oh, let me check for you. It's 20 bucks for one plug, but it's actually 36 for two, or it's about 50 bucks Canadian for four pack. So really just count how many you really need, what we use it for, and then just make your decision. Sometimes it's better just to have a cup around the house, saving money again, just think about what you need. You could use that cost elsewhere to buy other devices. The main function you'll probably use plugs for is probably lamps. That's what I use it for, or bedside lamps maybe. We have a bedside table with a lamp next to it and you could just attach a smart plug to it. I know Lutron has some expensive ones, but Miros is a good alternative. Uh, they work with HomeKit. You can see this is what I've got here. This is what it looks like. Sorry, is it in focus? It might be the light. And then you have your QR code, which you scan. Uh, wrong scan and there's a button on the side to like switch it on and off as well so if there's ever a glitch or an issue you can just tap that or you could just take it off and reset it it's really really simple i'm gonna go through the steps on how to set this up as well uh other devices you could use are probably like tvs or kettles coffee makers air purifiers humidifiers whatever it may be they may not have one of those auto off functions or auto on functions you can literally make it smart with a plug. Okay, this is the lamp that I have plugged in here. As you can see, it's just plugged into the socket and the button's on the other side, just on this side here. So if I click it, it will turn it off. You can hear that noise. And if I tap it again, it switches back on again. Okay, I've now moved the plug to the, uh, a more reasonable place so I can film and shoot this. But in order to, you can see the LED status is green, so everything's connected, but to reset it, so this is the lamp plug, and I'm just gonna reset it and re-add it. All you need to do is hold the button here for five seconds until the LED light here turns, starts flashing amber. Okay, now that I have reset the Miro Smart Plug, we're gonna add it back to HomeKit and I'll put it into the scene and do the automation. So you'll see that from the screen record, which I'll show you. If you've got your new Smart Plug out the box, this is the stage where you're gonna be at. All you're going to do is click the plus sign at the top of your Home app, add accessory. And then when you click on add accessory, it's asking you to scan the uh, QR code on top of the plug. So bear with me one moment. And as you can see, it says add to home. And it's now connecting. And there we go. Now it's asking where the plug is located. I'm gonna put in TV room, so I just click continue. And then you can name the plug. So I'm just gonna put there here, TV room lamp. And then click continue. And then I'm going to put it as a light and I'm going to skip the automations for now because I'm going to add it later. And then that's it. Now that, that was it. It was so easy. And you can see it is at the bottom here, TV room lamp, and I'm just going to tap it. And then you can see the light go off and now come back on again. Now to add the smart plug to a scene, all I'm going to go to do, so it should be in the TV room section here, which it is. Uh, and you can even move the tiles by edit screen and then you can just drag and drop move the tile as you wish wherever it's going to be I'll just leave it there for now and just click done and then to add it to a scene I will go to uh, so if I go to the Netflix and chill and I scroll to the bottom and click on add remove accessories I can actually click on the lamp and then click done. And now it's added the, t the lamp, but it's saying it's, it's going to be on. So I activate, if I activate Netflix and chill, that lamp will come on, but I don't want it to come on. So I'm just going to tap it once, meaning don't activate this light or keep this device off when this scene is activated. 
uh, as simple as that. And to remove it again, just click add or remove and then tick or untick which devices you would like to have in that scene. And all I'm gonna do is scroll to, oh, you can just click cancel after that. And if I hit Netflix and chill, everything functions and that lamp doesn't come on. And when I come back to the home app, all my lights come on as functions. I know that I have a bedtime scene. So when the bedtime scene comes on, my lights change. So if I click on this, I'm gonna activate that. And I wanna add remove accessories. I'm gonna click on lamp, click done. And I want the lamp to come on when I activate this scene. And then I just click the close button. So now if I click bedtime, my bedtime scene will function. So my main TV room lights come off, but my lamp comes on. And it's as simple as that. Okay, once you've installed your plug, you can set it, you can use the automations within Home App to set it to come on and off, whether those are lights, kettles, whatever it may be, you can have it set to come on and off at certain times of day or vice versa. So within the Home App, again, I'm just gonna set this to screen record, click on add automation, and then you have several options that pop up. If you click on uh, an accessory is controlled, and I'm just gonna scroll down and click on the lamp because that's what we added. Click next. And as you can see, you have several options here. Uh, so you, whether you want it to turn on or off. So we'll just say turn on and you can give it a specific time of day uh, or during the day. And then you can set that, whether it's sunrise, sunset, 15 minutes before or after. Uh, at night, again, same thing, sunset, sunrise. Uh, or specified times. So this is where you can put 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, as an example there. Or if you click on, uh, if, you, if you leave this at any time and click next. And if you scroll all the way to the bottom and then it says here in the advanced section, convert to shortcut, you click on that. And here you can customize it to say, I wanna set an accessory, so I'm gonna set the lamp, and I want the lamp to come on. So you click, tap on it to come on, so if it has a specific function, whether it's dimming, in this case, the lamp, or the smart plug on or off, so when that lamp is activated, come on. And then you wanna do wait. If you click on this function, for instance, wait, you can tell it to wait X amount of seconds and then turn off again. So if you wanted it on a timer, for instance, uh, a shorter timer, you can add, if it's in seconds, you can't convert to minutes. Uh, but again, 60 seconds is one minute and then you just times 60 by however many minutes you want it to stay on for. I'm just gonna put here five seconds for now. And I'm gonna click add again on the function and then control state of home or control my home. Add accessory or scene again, it gives you the several options. I'm gonna tap on the lamp. And then in this case, I want it to turn off. So leave it off. And then I click next, and then you click done. So now if I go back to the home section, and if I turn the lamp on, the lamps come on, five seconds later it should turn off. There you go. That was just a quick tutorial on how to add a smart plug to HomeKit. You can see that didn't take very long at all. It's very easy. If you have any questions or any troubleshooting with setting up your smart home, again, I'm always here. Put a comment down below and I'll be glad to help. And I will link these in the description box down below. There's a list of all the products that I use and ones I recommend. So check that list. These are there. This one's the one I recommended because this is so easy and the value for money too. And I think that's the end of this week. Next week we'll cover light bulbs uh, and how easy they are. Again, it's gonna be the same principle, but it's just very different. Instead of using a plug, it's they screw in or if it's bayonet, we'll cover some of those. If you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a like, subscribe to my channel for future content, and we'll see you next week in episode five. Peace.